I believe we are live now. Hello everyone. I I launched the live five minutes earlier just so I can check if I have technical issues. So if you're here, if you are watching this live, please put hashtag live and tell me where you're from. Or you can also tell me if this is your first time to watch a live session with me. So I would love to hear from you. So please let me know if this is your first time to join. Okay. Okay. Hello, Christy. Hello. Oh, Mids. Hello, Mids. How are you? Benji. Hi. Judy. Hello. Wow. Early birds. Kamusta po? Um, uh, put in hashtag live and sabihin niyo kung taga saan kayo para kilala kayo or para alam nung iba kung asan kayo. Okay? So, I will be I will be checking kung Oops, yeah. um, I hope I could see the comments real time, but it seems like hindi ko siya makikita. Wait. Maaga pa naman. May three minutes pa tayo guys. So magsiset up muna ako ng maayos dito. Let me see. Live from QC. Hi, Benji. Guys, sabi nyo kung nasaan kayo, put in hashtag live. But para sa mga mamaya, if you will be watching this on replay, put in hashtag replay tapos kung taga saan kayo. Just so I know kung um, sino yung uh, or kung nasaan kayo and sino yung may pinaka saan ako mas maraming audience. So this will help me. Um, Kaloocan. Wow, Christy is from... Kaloocan din. Second pa lang. Okay. Hello po sa mga bagong join pa lang. We will start exactly 2 p.m. Right? Um, okay. I hope makikita ko agad yung inyong mga comment pero mukhang hindi. So I need um, to, to check my phone. So, nag-fail na naman. Hindi ko nakikita yung mga comments nyo agad-agad. So, I need to um, I need to check. So, guys, para sa mga nandito, uh, please do me a favor. Um, i-share nyo siya sa page na sa tingin nyo makakatulong. Or maybe sa Facebook page ng friend nyo or maybe sa Facebook page nyo so that um, we can reach more people today. I will be giving free training on how you can get started sa social media marketing. And in this training, I will tell you how did I grow my page from zero <laughs> to thousands of followers without any paid advertisement plus I will discuss introduction to social media marketing and introduction to personal branding. So maybe some of you first time you maririnig yung personal branding. Um, personal branding, i discuss with you later, but in simpler words, personal branding is like becoming an authority or becoming an influencer sa social media. And ano yung number one mistake na ginagawa ng napakaraming tao sa social media. So, yun po ang ating um, topic for today. This is free. Wala po kayo kailangan bayaran. Wala din po akong ibebenta afterwards. So, yun. Um, para po sa kaka-join lang, please put in hashtag at saka kung nasaan kayo. I mean, hashtag live pala para malaman ko na live kayo or nanonood kayo sa replay. So, put in hashtag live 
if you and then the place kung saan po kayo. Um, okay. Mukhang hindi ko talaga nakikita yung mga comments niyo real time. So, let me just check my phone. Okay. So, sa mga first time, please let me know if it's your first time. And kung ito ay second time or lagi kayo nanonood sa akin, I will really appreciate it. Can you please um, help me know if this is your first time? Wow! We have 40 people now. Okay. Davao. Davao daw si Apple. Okay. Jenny B. Davao din. Narinig niyo ba ako, guys? Narinig niyo ako ng malinaw? Can you type in yes? If malinaw. And kung nakikita niyo ako ng malinaw din. <laughs> Ayan. Wow. QC. Maraming QC, ha? Rojas. Isabella. Wow, Isabella si Manilin. Aba, andito din ang aking kaibigan. RJ Sales. <laughs> How are you? Shio Cordova. First time. Oh, Shio. Welcome. Welcome sa'yo. Okay. I can open. Ano yung hindi mo ma-open? Goldie Gluth. Hirap naman ang name mo. Goldie Gluth. Funda Katang Katang. It's a long name. Okay. So, yan. Clear naman. Okay. It's already 2 p.m. And so, what I will do is, I will start discussing. I will give you then, um, uh, introduction para sa mga, kasi may first time tayo sa, sa audience. So, ako po si Shala, but my friends call me Lala. So, I would prefer you, I mean, mas gusto ko, mas na-enjoy akong pakinggan yung Lala kesa sa Shella. So, pero yun kasi tawag sa akin ng mga clients ko, Shella. So, ganun ako nag introduce But you can call me Lala if you want to be my friend. And I would love to be your friend, so just call me Lala. So, yun. Um, I'm good. That's good to know, <laughs> RJ. Ayan. So, Ako po ay isang freelancer. Ako po, um, freelancer, it means nag-work nag ako sa bahay as a virtual assistant and also a social media manager, social media strategist, content writer. And I am the founder of this page. So, welcome. I have two opportunities for you. Number one is you can get free training on this page and on the Facebook group, nag upload ako doon ng helpful training. Second is, um, if you if you feel that you're ready, you can apply sa Amen to become a virtual assistant. Just send us a message. Yung i-click nyo lang po yung send message sa work at home page and then click nyo yung get a client so that you can send your application to us. Okay? So that those are the two things na gusto kong <clears throat> Malaman niya. I'm so sorry for my voice. Medyo napuyat kami ng mga friends ko yesterday. And nag-attend ako sa concert ng Hillsong Worship. So, <clears throat> medyo, medyo puyat and pagod. But um, I'm here to, to uh, para, to, para yung promise ko sa inyo, <clears throat> nagagawin ko yung live today. It's your first time to watch Geraldine. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so excited to learn about this topic. I'm so excited to teach din ito guys sa inyo. This is the first time na mag-discuss ako ng social media marketing. So, lagi ako nag-discuss about how you can get started sa freelancing. And this is the first time na mag-discuss ako about sa social media marketing. Because that's my work and ayun yung passion ko. Social media marketing. I have fallen in love sa social media marketing. For how many years na? Maybe mag, ano na kami? Mag to two years na. <laughs> Ganun. Um, yan. So, welcome. Welcome po sa inyo. Content lang ako, pero gusto ko SMM. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Anata! Hello, Anata! Kamusta, Anata? Ayun. Si Anata, tsaka si RJ, cover ko sila sa Google. Doon ako nag-work lagi. Okay. So, um, after the, that introduction, nag-five minutes ako sa introduction, so let's dive into the topic na, okay? 
So, um, unang-una, gusto ko pong sabihin sa inyo, let me tell you this, una pa lang, that hindi ako naniniwala sa mga instant success or like may mga hacking techniques ng hacking techniques daw ng algorithm ng social media platform para dumami yung followers and all. I'm not a fan of that. Maybe totoo yon. I'm not sure. I cannot say, but I do not believe on that kind of instant success because for me, the real success in social media marketing happens if you have great content, if you have engaging posts, and if you have effective strategy. Okay? Idi discuss natin siya today, pero um, gusto ko lang din sabihin sa inyo na kapag may mga questions po kayo, um, ipark nyo po muna. Okay? I mean, <laughs> I- isulat nyo lang muna sa comment or sa piece of paper. Um, I encourage you na meron kayong piece of paper and ball pen para mag-notes kayo. Um, ganun din yung ginagawa ko kapag nanonood ako ng mga tutorials sa Skillshare. Um, nag-take notes na lang ako. So, I encourage you to take notes. And alisin nyo yung mga distraction nyo. Kung nasa in front kayo ng TV, kung baka nag-Facebook kayo sa phone nyo or whatever, mag-focus po tayo ngayon. Okay? One hour lang naman. So, let's do this. Okay? And I also want you guys to actively participate in the discussion. Though hindi ko maririn, though hindi ko makikita agad-agad yung comment nyo, pero I will try to check the comments. Okay? Yan. Violeta, first time live, but watched all your videos. Good job. Thank you for watching all my videos. Um, hi, Lala, first time. Don't have any experience. Okay. So, if you do not have any experience yet or wala pa kayong enough knowledge how to get started so freelancing, do not forget to watch the Getting Started class. Um, six videos yun. Six lessons. So, very important may watch nyo yun. Okay. Thank you for doing this. Hi, Chal. I've been waiting for this since from the start. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, oh, si Chell. Chell, Chell, would you like to share your story? Chell is now doing um, social media tasks. Meron na siyang client. So, I I am happy. I'm really happy for her kasi nag-start siya as wala pa siyang experience. But now, she's working. She's, she's doing freelancing as a social media strategist. Or, um, social media manager ba, child? Forgot. So, yan. Another reminder is, you may want to stay connected with the page. You need to follow it and like it. Thank, para, parang thank you nyo na yun sa akin. And you need to join the group, the, the private Facebook group. This, i-search nyo lang po sa Facebook, hashtag swag team, S-W-A-H-G, and then team, E-E-A-M. Doon po yung group ko. Mag-join po kayo doon. And doon lahat ng mga tutorials ko. So, hindi ko siya ina- ginagawang available sa lahat because I want to give exclusive perks sa mga talagang nasa group ko. So, please mag-join po kayo sa SWAD team. And, kailangan nyo din talaga kasi mag-follow kasi paiba-iba yung social media. I mean, iba-iba yung trends sa social media. So, I might upload um, or not might, I will upload updates kung ano yung mga dapat natin matutunan about social media. Um, bakit ko ginagawa yun? Kasi, um, or bakit ko kayang gawin yun? Kasi as a social media strategist myself, social media manager myself, kailangan akong updated sa mga bago or else hindi magiging successful yung mga clients ko. And hindi din magiging successful yung page ko. So, you need to follow me and hopefully magkaroon tayo ng ano, interaction because I have this um, I have this tendency to really connect sa mga followers ko. I talk to them, kinikilala ko sila. Sometimes I do one-on-one coaching lalo na sa mga uh, nakikita ko na nagpuporsige. So, ayun. Okay? So, this lesson is specifically for those people who want to build a brand online and learn social media skills. 
Um, yung brand, social media branding, this might be the first time na narinig nyo yan. I will discuss kung ano yung social media branding. Okay? And so, para to sa mga tao na gustong mag-build ng brand awareness, it could be a product or a service mo or ng client mo kung gusto mong palawakin yung awareness Magkaroon ka ng strategy paano gagawin yun. I will uh, do that. And but, I mean, this will be very helpful for you. And para dun sa mga gustong i-improve yung kanilang online uh, presence, online social media presence. And um, maybe hindi naman para sa'yo, maybe for a, for, for a company. Or if you want to build a personal brand, you want to become an influencer or you want to become an authority in your niche. So this will help you then. And para sa mga ano, um, gustong, alam mo yan, mag, uh, magkaroon ng social media presence para kumita. Like maging affiliate, endorser, ambassador, or something like that. So this will really help you. And para din sa mga nag mlm I mean, hindi ako fan ng MLM, but there are so many people using social media strategies to promote MLM products or MLM services. So, ito yung kinakover nun. And I just wanted to, to tell you guys that uh, building a brand, it it covers a lot of topics. So, una dyan yung ipopromote mo yung brand mo or yung service mo and mag influence ka ng tao, magbebenta ka, magdo-drive ka ng traffic sa website. Yan yung mga um, core reasons bakit ka kailangan magkaroon ng social media presence? Kasi mm, people are, I mean, like, yung mundo is <laughs> lahat tayo may social media accounts. Lahat tayo nasa social media platforms. Unless wala kang internet or wala kang cellphone, wala ka siguro Facebook, pero napaka-imposible na yun nowadays. Siguro yung mga nasa bundok, yung mga wala talagang access sa internet, yung mga ganun. So, yan. Yeah. MLM means multimedia marketing. Thanks, Anita. Yan. Yeah. Hello po sa lahat ng mga dumating. Hindi ko na kayo nabate. But, um, we will uh, go to the discussion na. Okay? So, um, una, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo na yung i-discuss ko dito is basic. I mean, hindi basic na hindi nyo magagamit. Unang una natin i-discuss is paano ba na in, na in na-invent yung social media. I mean, kailan siya na-invento? I mean, hindi ko to pag-uusapan para lang cool tayo, alam natin yung history and all. Hindi. We need to understand yung history and yung concept behind social media para mas maintindihan natin kung gaano ka-importante ang social media ngayon. Bakit siya yung number one tool ng mga businesses to promote, to advertise, Actually, social media is the number one tool ngayon sa trending. Hindi na TV, hindi na radio, hindi na newspaper, hindi na yung tagdan pinamimigay flyers, hindi na yun. Ang number one tool ng mga businesses today is social media. So, sasabihin ko, or I will discuss the history or the concept behind social media so that we will have thorough understanding bakit napaka-importante yun. Bakit napaka-in-demand niya? So, um, just to tell you guys, kapag ka nag-apply kayo sa amin sa Freedom Geek, um, pa- paano mag-apply? Mag-send kayo ng message, tapos click niyo yung Get a Client. Okay? Tapos follow niyo instruction. Okay? So, um, para sa mga nag apply mas madaling nakukuha yung may mga knowledge about social media marketing. So, and yung social media marketing is napakalawak and yun yung i-discuss ko today. Ano yung mga dapat alam nyo? Ano yung i-expect nyo? Okay? So, um, tanong ko sa inyo guys. Sa tingin nyo, kailan nag-start yung social media? Anong year? Can you guys tell me? Hula lang. There's no right or wrong answer. Tell me. Ano sa tingin nyo? Hmm. <clears throat> kailan, kailan nag-start? I, I would like to see the comments. I, I want to know kung ano ba yung idea nyo sa, sa social media. Okay? 2007, okay, sabi ni Lee, 
2007. Sa inyo guys, ano sa tingin niya? 90s? Okay? Sige, 90s. Tingnan natin. 2017? 2013? Sinong gumagamit ng work at home geek? Sinong moderator natin today? Sinong mga moderator na nandito? Magpakilala kayo. Blooming nyo po today. <laughs> Thank you, Mads. Blooming ba? Nag-lipstick ako kasi sobrang puyat ko kagabi. Nanood ako ng concert. Ayan. So, okay, sige. Yun, 2003, 2003, 90s, ganyan. So, gusto kong, gusto kong sabihin sana na tama kayo, but lahat kayo mali. <laughs> lahat po kayo mali. Simula nung nagkaroon ng friend store, hindi po. Mali po kayo. Um, this is, that's why napaka-importante na meron tayong totoong knowledge. Naman toto, hindi naman toto tapos mali. Hindi. Um, yung, yung parang pinaka core knowledge or core concept ng social media. Okay? So, mali po tayo na iisipin natin na nag-start siya 2007 or noong 90s. Kasi, we have to understand ano muna ba talaga yung social media. Okay? Um, social, social, from the word itself, it means relating or interacting with humans. Okay? And media, it means an instrument or a channel or a medium or a tool or a platform na ginagamit mo. Na, yun, na ginagamit mo. So, social is to interact. Media is a tool. So, therefore, the word social media, um, it is a tool or a platform or an instrument so that you can interact with people. Alright? So, you, you might get surprised because ang concept po ng social media has started thousands of years ago. Siguro yung pinakaunang-unang nag-exist ang social media nung uh, the earliest days na, na invent ng humans ma, ng fire. Tapos ginamit nila yung smoke para magbigay ng signal sa ibang tribo. That is a form or that is the concept of social media. Okay? So, hindi po siya bago. Okay? Nag-iiba-iba lang yung itsura niya. So, dati, so, <laughs> bakit hindi po ako nagagaling-galingan dito? Hindi ko to sinasabi na para mag- hindi. Gusto ko po maintindihan natin. Bakit ko to sinasabi? Kasi, gusto ko po maintindihan natin na yung social media is, yung concept ng social media is as, it's, um, it is, I mean, paano ko ba explain? Yung importansya ng social media is as good as the importance of telephone, communication, um, ano ba, yung, yung dati, di ba, parang uh, postal service, uh, telegraph, telephone, radio, TV, yun po yung value ng social media. So, kung iniisip nyo, social media is just for your selfies, for videos, for entertainment, hindi po. Social media is a very, very valuable tool. Okay? So, um, gusto kong magkaroon tayo ng clear understanding kapag sinabi natin social media. Social media is not only Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Instagram, hindi. Those are social media channels. But the idea of social media is very important. It's massive. And having the knowledge how to mark or how to do marketing sa social media is really like a killer skill na matututunan, na pwede natin matutunan, na matututunan natin today. Okay, how do you talk? Sorry. But um, I hope you are now getting the clear picture of what is social media. Maybe yung iba sa inyo, sinasabi yung, mm, alam ko naman na yun. Alam ko naman na yan eh. Ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> but that's okay. That's good. At least may knowledge ka na. Pero, I want to drive you to another uh, highest peak of understanding kung ano yung potential ng social media that will hopefully will blow your mind. Kasi, um, many of us do not know that social media, time will come that People will so get used to social media that we will no longer watch TVs, listen to it. Sino dito ang nakikinig pa ng radio? Or, ng, or yung talagang 
avid fan na manood ng TV. Yung, yung tipong ano, yung tipong pagkagising mo, gusto mo manood agad ng TV. Di ba hindi? Pagkagising natin, nagsisyak ka agad ng social media natin. So, time will come na lahat ng tao is nasa social media. Actually, nang, nangyayari na yun. Pero, time will come that social media is really like internet. Ganun kalaki yung concept ng social media. It's as big as the internet. Therefore, <laughs> having the skill, isipin nyo to ha. Yung matuto ka how to do marketing sa social media is like you have the best killer skill to grow the business. To grow a business or to become popular or to become an influencer or to become a reputable brand. So, imagine you are, imagine that having the skill of Social media is like the capability of building your own broadcasting channel. Like for example, itong page ko, this is my own channel. Dito ko, pin- dito ko ginagawa lahat ng gusto kong i-share sa tao. This is my own channel. Hindi nyo pwedeng i-dictate ko ano yung gusto kong ipakita dito. Di ba nagtitiktok ako minsan? I don't know kung gusto nyo yun, pero that's what I want to do. So, it's my own channel. So, having the skill of social media, so... Ang ginagawa ko lang sa social media channel ko today is I'm sharing knowledge, entertaining, inspire, inspiring people. Pero, I can use it na magbenta, magbenta ng course or what, pero it's not my plan. Hindi ko pa siya naiisip na kaya, na gagawin ko siya ngayon. So, I am giving a knowledge sa inyo guys for free. So, going back to the importance of social media, is if you know that skill, you can build a brand. You can build a company without actually building a physical office or like a net, parang, parang ABS-CBN na building na ganun because you can have your own channel. And the possibility to reach millions and millions of people is possible sa social media. That's how powerful social media is. And kung kaya mo yung gawin, ibig sabihin, you are a valuable asset for businesses. Okay? Ngayon, um, I hope talaga na-excite kayo na mag-aral na social media. Um, <laughs> ah, si Liz pala na sa work at home geek. Okay. Liz, kailangan mo lang i-click yung parang icon dyan. Tapos may drop down dyan. Palitan mo lang. Pero it's okay. Yan. So, who wants to learn social media? Who wants to learn social media? I want to see hearts or me or whatever sa comments. <laughs> Watching favorite cartoons. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. So, nakahabol. <laughs> Chris, nakahabol ka. Okay, so... Alright, excited tayo man, malamat kung paano ba tong social media na to. Okay, so salamat sa mga nag-respond. <laughs> me, me daw sila, okay. So, I hope na... Oh, thank you so much, Pam, sa heart. <laughs> okay, so, ayun. So, para ma- para talaga maintindihan natin, mag-picture ma- 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 out natin kung ano yung kabuuan ng social media, is I will give you the journey kung ano yung pagdadaanan ng isang tao na gustong magkaroon ng knowledge about social media, okay? And, pero balikan lang natin yung question ko kanina. So, how is social media invented? It has been invented because people have that innate or natural desire to communicate and to be social. This desire has driven so much technological advances from from let an um, ano yun, yung parang snail mail to TV to radio to internet so iba iba lang pero the concept behind it is because people want to be social people want to communicate so that's uh, that's the concept behind social media and another point is the concept of social media has been invented way before the prehistoric times and it has never changed social media concept is the same before today. Iba-iba lang yung channel, iba-iba lang yung method. Okay? So, pero, 
kailangan natin din maintindihan na yung mga methods, yung channel, software, application, nag-evolve siya ng mabilis. So, social media, parang, kaya nga, um, I, I, I heard a lot of feedback sa mga nagtitake ng course, yung mga bumibili ng course, kasi yung binili nila super outdated. Alam niyo yun? Kasi social media is evolving so fast. So, um, it's not, I do not recommend you guys buying courses from people who do not take social media as their own career. Kasi they might probably teaching you guys yung mga ituturo nila is mga nakita lang din nila sa internet. So, why not research on your own at hindi ka na magbabayad? May improve pa yung researching skills, no? So, again, there is a rapid growth in in development sa social media. Biglang nagsusulputan yung mga tools, yung mga application, software, like, napakarami. Siguro pag magbibigay ako sa inyo ng mga software ngayon or mga application na hindi nyo pa narinig, baka paabutin tayo ng ano, pero napakarami. Um, one way to check that is go to the App Store or Google Play Store. Check nyo dun. <laughs> Napakadaming social media platform. So, the question is, saan ba tayo magsisimula? Diba? Saan ba tayo magsisimula? <laughs> I know all of you are excited to learn. You know, yung utak natin or yung brains natin have this thought like, oh, ang dami kong sobrang kailangan malaman. Sobrang dami kong hindi pa alam. Ang dami ko pang hindi natututunan. Andun yung mga thoughts na yun sa isip natin. But before we start, I want you to relax. Okay? But at the same time, I want you to be smart. Okay? Slow down. <laughs> Marami tayong pag-aaralan. Hindi today. This will be like a series na nagagawin ko sa social media. So, hindi lang ito yung session na to. Hindi ko ituturo lahat dito. This will be like kung ano lang yung topic na sinabi ko kanina. I will teach you paano ako nakaro-gain ng from zero to thousands of followers. So, ayun. Um, <laughs> okay, so... I know na excited kayo, pero slow down. Mag-isip, be smart, mag-take ng notes, okay? And wag niyo masyado yung overwhelm yung sarili niyo. Okay? Let's take it one step at a time. Now, um, kasi yun yung tendency natin na na-excite tayo. Nagro-rush tayo na matutunan lahat without having a plan or a strategy how we can really get there. And sometimes, we get disappointed. Kahit sa freelancing, sobrang dami natin gustong malaman. Tapos nira-rush natin yung mga lessons. And we end up not learning anything, not implementing anything. Kumbawa, yung inaaral mo, Canva, or inaaral mo, paano gumawa ng resume, tapos wala ka naman talagang in-implement, hindi mo naman talaga ginawa. It's, it's like a waste opportunity or wasted time on your part. So, um, have a strategy. If you are learning something, pag-focus ka doon, kung ano yung natutunan mo, gawin mo. Okay? Take action. Same as with social media. Marami akong sasabihin na kailangan natin malaman. But the goal is to be strategic and to be smart. Okay? Now, kasi ayoko mangyari sa inyo na na-overwhelm lang kayo. Tapos, wala kayong ginawa. Hindi nyo alam i-implement. So, and if you've been following my page for how many months, sino dito yung pinaka, kailan kayo nag-start <laughs> na mag-follow sa akin? Um... For those of you following me for many months now, you know that I have the tendency to be very emotional and really personal when I produce content because that's the kind of person. I know, ganun talaga ako sa personal. I mean, if I am your friend, talagang pag-uusapan natin yung mga personal na buhay. I mean, ganun kasi talaga ako. Hindi ako yung friend lang na mag-uusap kayo ng mababaw. Because I... I am really an emotional kind of person. Na-attach ako sa mga tao na nakakausap ko. So, yun. Um, yes, strategy is the key. Okay? Since my work pa ako, <laughs> love you lang. <laughs> okay, Anata. Oh, sige. Anata is really a good a friend of mine. Sa Google siya nag-work before. So, okay. Ngayon, I will guide you dun sa journey na ite-take mo. 
and I will give you the exact steps kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin. And I will show you kung paano yung gagawin. It's, it will not happen dito lang sa session na to, kundi aabutin tayo ng three days, baka ilang linggo. Pero it will be like um, um, a series of videos. At saka, as you know guys, nagwo-work ako. Hindi ko to ginagawa para sa business ko or what. I'm simply sharing my knowledge. So you have to bear with me kung kailan ako may time produce na content. Okay, so and then for introduction, no? so let's let's uh, let's start um, discussing ano ba yung mga kailangan. Okay, um, pero part ng slowing down natin yung pagrelax natin, maging smart kayo and focus. Okay, resist the urge to be distracted. Kapag may nag text, kapag may nag ano, please magfocus kayo sa akin. Magfocus kayo sa sinasabi ko. Kasi sobrang makakatulong to. If you know that you need the social media skills to to become a successful freelancer, then mag-focus ka. Okay? Wag kang, wag kang, ito yung age na to na napakadali mong madistract. So, para sa akin, very good yung mga taong kayang mag-focus sa isang bagay and really work on it. So, please work with me. <laughs> I hope mag-promise kayo na hindi kayo madistract. Promise kayo. <laughs> Ayan. So, Okay, meron kayong three journeys or three options para maging successful SMM. Number one is you can become a virtual assistant or a virtual professional who does social media tasks. Ibig sabihin, you can work as early as now with a client or kung may client ka na ngayon, why not offer or I mean, why not study social media and eventually offer that to your client. Or maybe si client mo nagpa-plan siya na magkaroon ng social media page, alalin mo na. So, that's one way. You can become a virtual assistant. Kasi yung client mo na yan, yan din yung magbibigay sa'yo ng social proof. And para makapag-start ka, makapag-build ng portfolio. So, that is one way. Okay? <laughs> Dabi nag-promise. Thank you. Okay, so... Um, second option is you can become a social media specialist who does social media projects only. Ibig sabihin, wala kang ibang gagawin kundi, mag -so kundi social media tasks lang. Okay? Um, in order for that to happen is you need to build your own portfolio, give 100% focus, and magkaroon ka ng maraming testimonials sa mga clients mo na talagang na-improve mo yung social media uh, presence nila. So that's the second way. The third way is to become an influencer yourself. Ibig sabihin, wala ka pa mang client, wala ka pa mang kahit ano, you are starting to build your own social media presence. You are becoming an influencer yourself. And I will teach you how to do that later sa personal branding. Okay? So you need to stay tuned. <laughs> Marami tayong pag-uusapan, pero I will make sure na hindi kayo ma-overwhelm. I will give you strategic ways how to do that. Okay? So, <sighs> nakapagod magsalita kasi pukat-puyat ako kahapon, but let's dig in. Um, I want to, um, oh, nakikita ko may mga nag-share. Guys, share nyo naman yung page ko para mas marami tayo today. Yan, so, let me explain lang yung difference ng tatlong yun, Okay? Yung sa category 1, yung pwede kang maging virtual assistant and at the same time, or virtual professional and who does social media task is, it means pwede kang, uh, you do customer service, chat support, or whatever, virtual assistant ka, plus you are doing social media task. Yung category 2 is, yung client ko sarili ko, I have two FB pages. That's cool, Donna, and I will help you build your page. Sabihin mo din yung page mo para makakapag-like ako. Okay? Pwede niyo ako maging likers. <laughs> At saka pwede din para makita ka din yung ginagawa. Okay? So, category uh, 2 is it means you are working with client to improve the social media presence on a project basis. Yun yung pangalawa. Ibig sabihin, project basis, um, babayaran kayo based dun sa project. Um, I hope I could um, give you idea sa mga, uh, hindi hope, 
I'm sure I will give you training materials how to find your own client and all um sa mga uh, next coming topics natin, okay? Um, dun naman sa category 3, it means you are using your social media profile. Yung social media profile mo ngayon, yung Facebook page mo ngayon, or yung Twitter, or yung Instagram mo, you are using it to build your professional um, uh, professional portfolio or profile. So, yun. can become an influencer or become an authority sa niche mo. So, that those are the difference. Ngayon, um, on my part, I fall sa lahat ng categories na to. Kasi I have two clients. Um, sa isa, social media strategist. Sa isa, social media manager. and But I also take social media projects. Yung one project na tinake ko is setting up lang. Kasi walang budget si, um, si client. But he really want to start a social media page. So what I did is I created a Facebook page, uh, cover photo, yung tatlong content niya, and then nagkaroon kami ng parang promotion, organic uh, promotion, para lang magkaroon siya ng handful followers. Kasi yung business niya is hindi naman talaga digital. Ano siya eh? Um, physical business, pero gusto niya lang magkaroon ng Facebook page. So, that is one kind of project. Um, parang naglast lang yun yung project na yun for two, two weeks lang. And I get paid for it. And I do it on my free time. Okay? So, that's one way. That's category two. Um, category three is, I influence people. Dito sa page ko. I inspire people. I share my story. And that is one way. Yung category three na yan. You use your social media skills to influence people, to share your story, to inspire people, ganun. So, I do all those three. I fall sa lahat ng categories na yan. Um, I don't know kung saan nyo gusto, kung saan category nyo mapun, gusto mapunta. <laughs> Pero, um, eto. Uh, ito copy ko lang sa comments. Yung, yung tatlo na yan. Para, ay, hindi na. Okay, ibibigay ko na lang sa inyo yung parang pinaka-discussion nito para, para meron kayong guide. So, okay, diniscuss ko na yung mga journey nyo na pwedeng maging, kung paano kayo maging successful um, freelancer. Na-aching ako, guys. Sorry. Ano ba ito? Hindi ba tuloy? Okay. <clears throat> Ngayon, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo yung journey ng uh, yung journey na tatahakin nyo. So, para kayo ay magkaroon ng social media career as level 1, yung social media newbie. Ito yung you have basic knowledge what is social media, yung social media account ka, pero hindi ka ganun ka-active. Yan yung mga newbie. Or you don't know what is branding, ituturo ko yung branding mamaya. And you do not have experience running a social media page. So, sa mga nag intern um, you get the experience running a social media page already. So, um, the fourth is, you haven't created the social media content. Um, I will be creating a, a, a video then, six-step process in creating a content. And you bika if you are social, uh, you are using social media to interact lang to socialize lang, and <clears throat> hopefully, from now on, may iba na yung mindset mo, that you will use social media as a valuable tool to become a successful freelancer. And <clears throat> you are, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> and <clears throat> masakit talaga yung <laughs> masakit talaga yung aking lalamunan today. <clears throat> so, um, ikaw ay nasa level 1 kapag wala ka pang portfolio and gagawa din ako ng, <clears throat> ng tutorial how you can start building your portfolio. Okay? Parang nagiging dim. Ayan. Is it better? Parang, kasi dumidilim na guys, no? Parang ano? 
<clears throat> hindi yun ako nakikita. Thank you, Pam, sa pag-point out yan. Um, okay. Um, you are a newbie, nasa level 1 ka if you don't know how to attract clients or where to find them. Okay? So, kung si, hindi nyo alam kung paano mag-attract ng client, kung sino yung dapat i-attract, paano gagawin yun, ituturo ka din siya sa mga upcoming social media training. Okay? <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, okay na ba guys? Malinaw na ba? Malinaw na ba ako? Hala, wala akong marinig. Naririnig niyo ba ako? Ayan, malinaw na ang face mo. Okay na. Okay. <clears throat> Naririnig niyo ako guys? <clears throat> okay, so... Level 2, <clears throat> level 2 is social media student. You have enough knowledge what is social media and how it can be used as a business. And you know how to run a social media page with active followers and you can understand analytics. And you are a social media student. It is level 2, and it's level 2. Na time. You can create social media content, image, video, audio, written, and you can incorporate data analytics sa content mo. And you are doing, implementing, <clears throat> at saka pala, level, level 1 ka kapag wala ka pang pinafollow ngayon sa social media. Okay? So, para maging social media student ka is you need to follow people who are doing good sa social media. Do I consider myself as social media expert? No. I consider myself as uh, nasa process pa rin ako ng learning. So, if you want to follow me, feel free para sama-sama tayo sa journey na yun. But um, I will tell you guys kung sino yung mga pinafollow ko sa social media so that you will have an idea kung paano din ako natututo. <clears throat> Loud and clear. Thank you guys. Okay, so um, going back, ikaw ay level 2 if you are building your portfolio na. I mean, nag-start ka na mag-build ng portfolio mo. <clears throat> Ngayon, um, level 2 ka din kapag ka nag-start ka na mag-search ng client, nakakapag-attract ka na ng clients, and you know, you know how to secure and onboard clients. I will teach you guys all of this, pero hinay-hinay lang tayo. Okay? Um, <clears throat> level 3 naman, if you know the current trend in social media and you know the technologies and the tools, you have social media presence na din, meron ka na ding personal brand with followers you can create trending posts that can reach like th uh, 30,000 people sa post mo so yan ibig sabihin naka graduate ka na nasa level 3 ka na you are being approached by people who wants to know social media marketing and you attracted clients and nakapag work ka na sa clients mo and you earned money that's a social media graduate that's the level 3 um, level 4, social media professional. If you implemented new technologies in your social media platforms, ibig sabihin, hindi lang si Facebook, hindi lang si Twitter ang ginagamit mo. nag integrate ka ng ibang technology to grow your, your social media presence. That's a professional level. That's level 4. And you have social media presence in multiple platforms. Hindi lang, well, hindi lang Facebook. Yan. Sa Instagram ka din, Tumblr or whatever. And you are accelerating your growth, your social media growth. And you have made success stories in your social media campaigns and you can add it into your portfolio. That's the professional level. That's the level four. And level five is social media expert. It means that you can partner up with brands and you already have reputable social media presence. You can create viral posts that can reach more than like half a million people. So yun yung mga expert. I'm not an expert yet. As like, gaya na sinabi ko kanina. So, I know yung requirement. I know na medyo na overwhelmed kayo doon. I will give you the list. Okay? Ibigay ko sa inyo yung list na yan. Kung mga kailangan yung matutunan. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> what I will discuss here is, ano yung requirement? Paano kayo makakapag-start? Kasi yun naman talaga importante. Number one ko is self-awareness. Self-awareness, ibig sabihin, alam nyo yung kung nasaan na kayo sa alam nyo kung ano yung quality ng English communication skills nyo. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka may client ka, 
kaya mo makipag-usap confidently, kaya mong mag-reply sa email niya, kaya mong i-present yung ideas mo ng maayos in English. That's the number one requirement. So, para sa akin, ang kailangan yung i-focus ay hindi yung mga tools, hindi yung paano gamitin. Huwag niyong i-overwhelm yung sarili niyo doon. Hanapin niyo muna yung confidence niyo to express yourself in English. Kasi yung pag-aral ng tools, paghanap ng client, paano yung onboarding process, ano yung contract, ano yung rate, will all follow <clears throat> kapag ka may client na kayo. Okay? So, the first goal is to really express yourself. Um, I kaya nyo i-present yung ideas nyo in English ng malinang. Sino dito yung sa tingin nyo, um, yung English communication skills nyo, 10 being the highest, ano sa tingin nyo yun? <clears throat> um, nawala ba ako guys? Can you hear me fine? Narinig, naririnig niyo po ba ako? <laughs> Super tama daw, sabi ni Rosario. Okay, so, yun yung first step natin, English communication. Guys, naririnig niyo ba ako? <clears throat> Malinaw ba ako sa inyo? Yes, okay. Thank you, Glow. Yes, dear. Okay. <clears throat> so, yun yung number one para sa akin. I don't know, sa ibang social media course, hindi <laughs> ko alam kung anong number one requirement nila, pero para sa akin, English communication, and yung confidence mo sa sarili mo. Okay? Later on, um, i-magdi-discuss din ako doon. Um, kung ngayon na wala ka pang client, you need to develop that. Okay? And second is, knowledge in online tools. Yung platform. Ano yung iba't ibang social media platform? Paano ginagamit yun ng mga tao? Sino gumagamit nun? Para saan yun? Anong klaseng content yung nag-work sa ganong platform? Yung knowledge mo about a social media platform is important. Okay? Kasi kapag tinanong ka ni client mo, ano yung platform na alam mo? Bakit mo, siya, bakit mo sinabing alam mo yan? Paano mo, mala, paano mo masasabi na kaya mo akong tulungan? So, that's really important. Yung knowledge mo sa online tools. Second, uh, the, third, the third requirement under self-awareness to have is your creativity and your passion. Ibig sabihin, you know how to present your idea, how you can uh, drive your message to the public and may intindihan ka nila, and yung quality ng content mo. How good you are to, how good you are sa pag ng content mo. It's, that's, dapat maging aware ka kung nasaan ka na sa journey na yun. And consistency and determination. You should know, I hope you discuss ko mamaya din, kung ano yung kasali dun sa consistency and determination. Ano yung mga dapat mong ginagawa. So, yun, self-awareness. Alamin mo kung nasaan ka na dun sa mga requirement na yun. Okay? Um, maging honest ka. Hindi, ka. hindi mo matutulungan yung sarili mo kung hindi mo alam kung nasaan ka talaga. So, next requirement is you have knowledge. What are the business, um, ano yung need ng mga businesses ngayon when it comes to social media marketing? So, you should, you should have the knowledge kung paano, kung paano kinakailangan ng isang business ang social media. Iba-iba yun per niche. Iba-iba ang social media needs ng real estate business, ng digital marketing business, ng fashion, ng iba-iba. So, you should have a clear focus sa knowledge na hinuhong mo. Ibig kong sabihin, ikagayat ko din naman kayo sa process. Kasi the first thing you need to do is, alamin mo yung niche mo. And then, alamin mo sinong ideal client mo. Para yung lahat ng inaaral mo, focus. For example, sa akin, um, a focus ko is social media uh, assistant, I mean, social media manager ako. And ang, ang inaaral ko is how to reach more people. So, dun muna ako nakafocus. 
reach more people in the field of digital marketing. Kasi may people sa fashion, may people sa food blogging, iba-iba yan. So, iba-iba. Just like what I've mentioned kanina, napakalawak ng social media. So, pwedeng social media manager ka, me, no. So, yung or social media manager ka ng anong niche, ganun. So, dapat meron kang awareness tungkol sa mga bagay na yan. And dapat clear ka para hindi ka scattered. Okay? That's the one strategy para talagang makakuha ka ng client. And, um, syempre, kapag ka may ideal client ka na, kilala mo yung sarili mo kung nasaan ka ng journey, you need to know where to get client, how to get the client, and a strategy plan how to get your ideal client. So, ituturo natin yan in the following um, social media classes. Lastly is value. Dapat alam yung magpahalaga ng business. Um, alam nyo din, alam nyo din mag-identify ng business na magandang i-promote sa social media. Bakit? Kasi, <laughs> I tell you guys, kahit social, kahit maganda gawin ng social media marketing, parang ang saya-saya niya gawin. Kung yung pinopromote mo naman is walang kwentang bagay, it's not aligned sa mga dreams more sa goals mo sa buhay hindi ka motivate So, you should see value sa ginagawa mo and value dun sa ginagawa ni client. Okay? Do you have questions? Uh, hindi pala. Kapag may questions kayo, mamaya nyo sa akin sabihin. Okay? But I hope this is making sense. Is this making sense, guys? I mean, nakakasunod ba kayo? Okay. Tama. Data entry. <laughs> Okay, data entry focus daw ni Rosario. Napakalawak ng data entry. Opo, clear po. Yes, okay. Thank you, M. Okay daw. So, so far, malinaw naman tayo. Next topic natin is personal branding. So, alam na natin yung gagawin natin, ha? Um, kung ano yung journey natin. Personal branding. Let's talk about personal branding. Um, bibigyan ko kayo ng definite steps. Para, para dun sa mga tao na gusto mag-start ng social media presence nila, okay? Um, starting a social media page is not the start of your social media branding. I mean, your 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 personal branding. Pag nag-start ka ng social media page, hindi ibig sabihin may social media page ka na is influencer ka na. <laughs> hindi po ganun yan. So, pag sinabi kasi personal branding natin is yung 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 ikaw yung talent mo yung skills mo yun yung i-share mo sa tao ibig sabihin kung sino ka kung nasaan ka nang magaling ka na ba expert ka na ba yun yung yun yung kino-cover ng personal branding so personal branding is para sa mga gustong maging influencers or para sa mga gustong magtayo ng business and they want to be their own brand so the, um, instead of teaching you guys yung mga theories, I will give you definite steps para makapag-start kayo to become a personal brand. <laughs> so, sabi ni Donna, meron daw siyang followers. I mean, may page daw siya pero zero followers. Okay. So, para tayo, para tayo makapag-start talaga ng maayos na social media presence is Ganito yung kailangan yung gawin, okay? This is what I did on my own. Um, you need to list five things that you really care about. Ibig sabihin, um, ang start ng, ng social media presence is hindi sa pagpunta sa social media page at paggawa ng page, paggawa ng content, paggawa ng post, paggawa ng ano. No. It should start within yourself. I mean, you should have the foundation. Lagyan mo muna ng foundation yung Facebook page mo or yung channel, YouTube channel. Lagyan mo muna ng foundation. So, you need to list five things you really care about. Ibig sabihin, you badly want to do it. Ibig sabihin, yun yung gustong 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 gusto mong ginagawa. And, pag ginagawa mo yan, masaya ka. And, 
para sa iyo um, pag ginawa mo 'yun para sa sarili mo is parang binigyan mo ng achievement yung sarili mo. And ano ba? You need to list five things that you really want to do like before ka mawala sa mundo or ganoon. Or yung talent mo or yung hobby mo na gusto mo talagang i-pursue. So, magkaroon ka muna ng idea kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. Or maybe yung dream na gusto mong um, isa katuparan. I-lista mo yun. List five things that you really care about. Second is, I want you to understand na mahirap. Mahirap yung gagawin mo. Mahirap yung tatahakin mo. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, it will take so much of your time. Sometimes it will cost you money. So, gusto ko lang yung i-ano. I, gusto ko i-set yung expectations niya ngayon. Now, you should also have that drive sa sarili mo para alam mo na nahihirapan ka pero alam mong gagawin mo pa rin and itutuloy-tuloy mo pa rin. So, yun yung uh, steps na kailangan gawin mo. That alam mo yung five things that you really care about and alam mo na mahihirapan ka and alam mo na kahit nahihirapan ka, itutuloy mo pa rin. Kasi nga, super gusto mo yun. Yun yung brand na i-build mo. And um, you, 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 you need to Paano ba? Dapat, kapag nag-start ka ng page, ngayon pa lang, may imagine mo na yung sarili mo na um, nandun ka sa part na kala mo hindi mo magagawa, pero nagawa mo pala. Puntahan mo lagi yung ikaw na yun, yung future na yun, para yung drive mo na mag-continue sa page is magtuloy-tuloy. Okay? And you will, and kailangan mo din i-expect na dadating yung time na after you've put so much effort, nakikita mo na hindi siya nag-work. <laughs> And that's okay. Hindi ko sinasabing okay lang mag-fail. Hindi. Mangyayari kasi talaga yun. Pero, kaya nga importante na you list five things that you really, really want to do. Kasi kahit na hindi naging successful yun, yung ma-express mo yung ikaw, yung ma-share mo yung story mo, or ma-share mo yung talent mo, is like an achievement na. Okay? That's how you start to grow a personal brand. And, ibig sabihin, kahit na mag-fail, kahit na nag-put ka na so much effort, tapos hindi ka na-appreciate, or wala kang nabenta, meron ka pa rin total satisfaction. Kasi, alam mo na, finally, <laughs> once in your life, you've done something that you really want to do pinurso mo yung hobby mo or yung passion mo and you are sharing it to people. So, that is the foundation of building a personal brand. Okay? Ngayon, um, may nakaka-relate pa sa akin. Do you guys have that? Yung parang passion mo, yung, yung five things na yan. Gusto nyo ba i-share ko yung five things na yun sa akin? Bakit ako nag-build ng brand? <laughs> I don't know kung gusto niyo malaman yun, pero let me know kung gusto niyo sasabihin ko. Pero I hope this is making sense para sa mga next gusto mag-start ng kanilang social media presence. is the foundation to really, kahit ngayon pa lang, i-expect mo na yung worst, i-expect mo na, but you will still continue doing it. Kasi I tell you, napakaraming nag-start ng page pero namamatay lang because they do not have that strong foundation to support the page. Okay? So, they share it to us. Okay. We wanna know. Okay. So, ano yung limang bagay na nagpupush sa akin to continue is, or yung talagang limang bagay that I care about is, um, nilista ko siya. Number one is, I desire to make an impact. Sa buhay ko, I want to, to have an impact. Hindi dahil gusto ko maging famous or whatever. Um, dahil before that eh, tinitignan ko yung sarili ko as someone na um, sakitin, mahina, walang mararating, failure. 
and dumating ako sa point ng life ko na so what kung nag-fail ako dati? So what kung may sakit ako? So what kung maraming mali? Hindi ka perfect. But knowing the fact that kahit ganun ka and kaya mo magbigay ng impact, it's something that I really want. So, yun yung number one. And number two is, I want to share my story. Kung paano kaya ng isang rare disease survivor na maging successful, na pwede ka pa rin maging successful outside corporate world, that's the story I want to share. And, syempre, nagawa ko yun because of God, because of my faith kay Jesus. So, that's the story I want to share. And third is financial freedom. I mean, gusto kong magkaroon ng uh, buhay na hindi ako dependent sa kahit kaninong kumpanya that, or kahit kaninong client na kaya kong mag, magpatuloy na mag-earn, kaya kong makaipon or kaya kong makapag-earn ng pera without any, um, without, hindi na hindi ako nagde-depend sa mga companies or whatever. So, I want to have to live like that para din hindi ako dinedictate ng ibang tao na gantong oras ka mag-work, ganto yung gawin mo, ganyan. Because I want to express, I want to do the things that I really love doing. Kasi alam ko, yun lang yung way para maging successful and to have a life worth living. So, um, number four is I desire to be connected with many people um, in different ways degree. Ibig sabihin, um, yung story ko, kapag na, 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 na-inspire ka niya, ibig sabihin, nandun tayo sa same journey na yun, and I want to be part of that journey mo. So, ibig sabihin, yung page ko na to is, this is not just for information. Ibig sabihin, kapag nakilala kita, kapag naging kaibigan kita, we will walk together sa journey na yun. So, Honestly, nangyari na siya because um, ngayon pa lang dahil sa page ko, nakakilala ko ng mga taong talagang parang mga kapatid ko na. Diyan si May, diyan si Sheila, si Rizal, um, sila yung mga laging nandyan. Um, pati yung iba na sila Grace, yung mga batch one, sila yung mga naging kaibigan ko. And that's one of my desire. Bakit ako nagpapatuloy? Minsan, kapag downhearted ka na, sila yung mga taong nagpupush sa'yo. So, importante yun na meron kang support system. And lastly is, I want to, medyo personal na siya, so hindi ko na siya sasabihin, pero um, meron akong isang number one reason bakit, um, bakit ko gustong i-share yung faith ko. And that is really to, to worship God sa ginagawa ko. So, every day. So, yun yung gusto ko. Um, may, may, deeper mean, may, may deeper reason yun, but I do not want to share it uh, in public. Maybe kapag naging friends tayo or ano. Ganun. So, yun yung foundation ng Work at Home Geek. Bakit ko siya binibuild and bakit siya nag-grow. Kasi meron akong foundation. Meron na, merong desire. Meron kang something na alam mo hindi mo bibitawan kahit nahihirapan ka na. So, you will know that that page or that brand will grow because it has strong foundation. So that is all about personal branding. Okay? Um, how to improve my FB pages? Jong, um, there's no definite answer to that. <laughs> how to improve your FB pages? Um, Maybe kapag kasasagutin ko yan is, what is the foundation of your page? What's the purpose of your page? Um, and sino yung client mo? Do you know exactly sino yung audience mo? So there is a lot of things. I mean, m- there are a lot of things that you should know before you can give advice kung paano mo improve yung page. Okay? So, yun. Oh, hi, Mids. Love you, babe. Alam mo yan. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Yes, yung support system, yung tao na sa support system. Yes, and ayun, kapag nandito ka sa SWAG team, you have a support system na. So, <clears throat> ngayon, <clears throat> um, 
ang point ng sinasabi ko is, yung personal branding, kapag pinurso mo siya is, meron kang total satisfaction kahit na hindi ka maging super successful. Kasi at least alam mo sa sarili mo that nag-try ka. And alam mo na hindi ka titigil. Kasi alam mo yun lang yung gusto mong gawin. That will sustain a successful Facebook page. And gusto ka lang din sabihin na kapag ginawa mo yung personal branding or naging influencer ka or you talagang um, nag-appear ka sa social media is i-expect mo na nasasaktan ka or may mawawala sa'yo or magiging vulnerable ka kasi social media is it, sometimes it can be so cruel nasasama yung mga sinasabi ng mga tao and you cannot avoid that. So, if you will build a personal brand or if you will build a Facebook page, you need to be ready. Okay? Pero, again, kapag you have strong foundation, I'm, alam mo sa sarili mo na hindi ka mapipigilan ng kahit sino. You will grow that page no matter what. Okay? So, having said that, in order for you, the starting point to become, uh, to have a social media presence is to know who you are and what is, kung sino ka talaga, para sa yung purpose mo. And ano yung mga bagay na pinapahalagahan mo na alam mo, um, or yung mga talent mo, or yung value mo na alam mo mahalaga din sa iba. So, yun. Um, wow, God. Thank you so much sa mga ano nyo sa mga messages niya. I really appreciate it. Jacqueline, Mel, Violeta, thank you guys. So, um, that is personal branding. So, I've covered social media marketing, um, introduction of social media marketing, introduction of personal branding. Ano ba yung number one mistake na ginagawa ng mga tao sa social media? <laughs> Do you want to know what is that? I mean, this is my own uh, opinion. But for me, ang number one na ginagawa, ng mis- ginagawa na mali ng mga tao sa social media is we live a life in social media without having a foundation of who we are as a person. Ibig sabihin, nasa social media tayo trying to, to tell things, I mean, mag lalagay tayo kung sino tayo, pero hindi talaga natin kilala kung sino tayo. So, that is one mistake. Kasi, dati ginagawa ko din yan. I'm mean, like, meron ka lang fasad na hindi talaga ikaw. So, you have, if you want to grow your brand, you have to be authentic. Ibig sabihin, kasi malalaman ng tao kung fake mo lang. And, hindi maganda din gawin yun na fake mo lang. So, number one mistake para sa akin na ginagawa ng mga tao sa social media is they only care about the surface. I mean, kung ano yung nakikita ng tao, kung ano yung pinaproject nila without really taking time to, to understand who they are. Kapag kakilala mo na yung sarili mo, alam mo yung foundation mo. Kapag nagsa social media ka na, you will just getting inspiration. Oh, maganda to ah. Naka-align pa kung sino ako. So, I will follow this person. Ganun dapat. I mean, hindi ka magpupunta sa Facebook imitating people. Because it's a crazy thing to do. Gagayahin mo lang sila. And for you to have that um, focus then sa ginagawa mo is you really need to understand who you are and kung, kung ano yung mga gusto mong maabot sa buhay. Okay? So, um, I do not want you guys na kapag nag-Facebook kayo is pupunta lang kayo sa direction kung saan, kung ano yung ginagawa ng maraming tao. You should um, live your own physical, uh, I mean, mamuhay ka on your own, physically, sa mundo mo. Kilala niyo yung mga tao, makipag-interact ka, ganyan, mahalin mo yung mga tao, pahalagahan mo yung talent mo, yung mga ganun. <laughs> And yung ipopost mo sa social media, it will be like an overflow of who you are. Hindi yung parang may ginagaya ka lang. So, um, that is, that covers personal branding and yung mistake. Okay? So, 
Ayan. Um, I think we have covered everything. Ty this is, nakailang oras na tayo? One hour na pala tayo? More than one hour. Okay, so do we have questions? That's why I follow you. Oh, thank you so much, Jacqueline. TikTok queen. <laughs> thank you so much, Ariana. Fun, fun na fun ka talaga ng TikTok ko, ha? Gagawa pa ako ng marami. Huwag ka mag-alala. <laughs> okay. Uh, questions? Do we have questions? Uh, Luna, it's okay. Kahit hindi po naabutan, you can uh, do a replay later. Okay? Um, for those of you guys na nag-follow, sumula nung una, do you have, do you have questions? <laughs> Followers, please. Organic. Um, what's your question, Luna? Paano makakuha ng organic followers? Is that your question? Guys, do we have questions or anything you want to say about this lesson or about this session? I want to know if this is helpful. Kung na-inspire ka, kung marami ka natutunan, or it parang mas na-challenge ka. I want to... No. <laughs> ano pong TikTok name mo? <laughs> Lala Herans. That's my TikTok name. Lala Herans. Follow nyo ako guys sa TikTok. Pag nag-TikTok na kayo. <laughs> um, okay, wala tayong questions. Replay ko na lang. Okay, Luna. Continue being a God's blessing to everyone. Wow, thank you so much, Mary Jane. Mrs. Mary Jane Palabasan Martinez. Haba ng name mo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Inspiring. Thank you, Ariana. Pag-Facebook na ako palagi dahil sa'yo. <laughs> Thank you, Melv. <laughs> so, yun nga. Pag nagpa-Facebook tayo is bago ka mag-Facebook is alam mo muna kung sino ka and you follow those people na gusto mong maging inspiration mo and learn from it and yung ginagawa nila kasi pwede mo yun incorporate sa content mo. So, Na-inspired po ni Ms. Lalawa na learn more about social media po. That's good, Bernarda. <laughs> I had page to my other FB account. Pwede ko po ba emerge sa page ko na bago? Mm. Chris, um, why do you want to merge it? Dahil ba sa mga may followers ka na o dahil sa content? Um, I know that there is already an option to merge. Meron yung option dyan. Hanapin mo lang. Pero if if I were you, instead of merging, i-classify mo muna yung difference ng dalawang page na yun. And yun, you're such a blessing. Thank you so much, Joy. You're an inspiration. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm glad na may inspire that this is a fruitful uh, discussion. How have you made it possible to increase the number of followers? Um, Abdali, gaya ng sinabi ko, um, dun sa personal branding, you should have a strong foundation. And hindi, um, hindi, ko, hindi ko tinakil yung, yung kabuuan, paano ka makakuha kasi it, 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 maraming topics involved dun sa paggawa ng content, pag-create ng content, sin kanina mo siya isha-show, paano makahanapin yung audience mo, hindi ko pa yun natakil. Pero what I discussed today is you should have a strong foundation muna ng page mo, yung purpose ng page mo, yung purpose mo para alam mong magtutuloy-tuloy ka and you really find kung ano yung purpose ng page mo. The more uh, knowledge you have kung saan papunta yung page mo, it will be easier for you to produce a content. Okay? I've watched many videos about social media, but yours, Lala, is the best talaga. <laughs> I fully understand, even in first lesson pa lang. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, child. <laughs> Alam mo yan. <laughs> um, Ituloy-tuloy mo lang din yung ginagawa mo sa iyong client. Okay. So, if we do not have questions, guys, it's time for us to say goodbye. You can tell me anything in your goodbye messages. And I will read it, and after that, um, we will end this discussion. But before we end, I want to tell you guys na super thankful ako sa inyo, sa time nyo, lalo na sa mga part ng SWAG team, 
sa mga moderators, sa mga walang sawang sumasagot ng mga comments, messages, kapag wala ako. So, really, really appreciate it. Lalong-lalo na sa mga um, content creators kay Jean, at saka kay Marge, at saka sa mga interns. Talaga, tinutulungan niyo ako na i-manage yung page. So, I really appreciate it. Work at Home Geek is not only about me. It's a team effort. That's why I'm posting yung mga content na ginawa ng mga moderators. Kasi this is not only about me. This is like a community of freelancers na gusto matuto sa social media. So, yun. Sana ma-update ako sa susunod. Rosario, I will send Facebook message sa lahat ng nakasubscribe sa akin. So, makaka-receive ka ng message. Okay? Shalom. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joy. Please, I want to continue to learn. Okay. Pwede paggawa tayo ng thread natin doon. Pwede tayo page. Ah, sige. That's a good idea. Uh, Liz, Liz, create a, a post sa Facebook group natin, sa SWAG team. Um, tapos, i-promote nyo doon yung mga page nyo para i-follow natin. Huwag na lang dito sa thread na to kasi sobrang dami na ng messages. Doon na lang sa thread. Okay? That's good idea. Liz. So, ayan. Thank you so much, Ms. Laya. Huwag ka magsasawa sana sa pag-share ng knowledge. <laughs> You're welcome po. You're welcome. Um, thank you so much. Okay. God bless you, everyone. And please continue being part of this SWAG team. There's a Facebook group. Kapag hindi ka pa member doon, you are missing so many things. Kasi um, doon ako nag-a-announce. May mga, may mga live sessions ako na hindi ko pinupost dito sa page. So, dapat mag-join ka doon sa Facebook group. Kasi doon sa Facebook group, may mga training materials na gusto ko sa mga members ko lang. Hindi ko sinishare sa page ko. Okay? Thanks na. Helps a lot. Looking forward to upcoming SM topic videos. Okay. So, para lang aware kayo guys, next topic natin um, sa, sa next video um, class natin is yung <clears throat> how to um, how to create, what's the six step process in creating a content. So after knowing your foundation, and the six step process to create a content and how to run a social media page. That's the topic. Isala, sana may greet, meet and greet tayo sa alabang po sana. Alabang, <laughs> um, pede, why not? Mag, mag uh, ano tayo nyan? Why not sa birthday ko pede? <laughs> Imi meet, mag meet and greet tayo, de ba? It's good. Pero iplano natin. Maulan pa kasi din eh, no? <laughs> hmm. Miss Lala, what do you think? Pagkantong question ng client niya. Any idea or thoughts, please? What was your best professional decision until today? Why? What was your best professional decision? Best professional decision. Um, uh, this is a good question from your client. If I if I am to answer that. Um, best professional decision is. Ako is. Sa career ko, pinaka best na ginawa ko or decision na ginawa ko sa sarili ko is to really pursue what I love doing hindi lang mag-work for money. Kasi, um, nakaka-exhaust mag-work for money. And so, the best decision is, I am pursuing what I really love. And I love social media marketing. <laughs> Yan. Okay. Okay, so, I think we're done. No audio po. No audio? Can you hear me, guys? Nawala ba yung audio ko? Alright. So, I think we're done. Wala na tayong questions. So, if anyway, if you have questions, i-flag niya siya sa SWAG team dun sa Facebook group natin. Okay? So, I am ending this session. Thank you so much. Nag-last pala tayo ng 1 hour 19 minutes. Okay. So, um, I'll see you guys next session natin. Okay? Bye-bye po. Take care of your health then. I will. Thank you so much, Violeta. Bye-bye.